Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. I'm gonna uh, cut out a stencil and try to make a t-shirt design. So, um, I printed out this little logo and I'm gonna cut it. And I have these divider sheets from notebooks. I'm gonna use this as the stencil. I'll cut it out on here. Put this down on a t-shirt and we'll try different ways, a couple different ways of uh, getting the design onto the t-shirt, okay? So what else do we need besides the uh, letters? Printed this off, Microsoft Word. Stole this out of my uh, kid's notebook. I hope they don't miss it. And this is just a cutting pad so I don't cut up my table. Exacto knife. You take some painter's tape and tape it all down. The plastic to the paper to the cutting pad. Hopefully that'll hold it so nothing slips and everything comes out straight and lined up. Okay, straight enough, let's get to cutting. Okay, so now we're gonna take um, the stencil and put it upside down on a cardboard box. C-L-E. And really lightly, I'm gonna put a little bit of this Easy Tack on the back. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. Okay, while that's drying a little bit, I'm gonna take this t-shirt and slip a box onto the inside so that none of the ink will bleed over through to the back. Grab 
my stencil and place it where I want it. And hopefully we'll hold the edges down and we won't get a lot of bleed through on this one. And what I'm going to do is take each letter and try and place it centered in here. Now I know I could make a, uh, a silk screen and have it use that, but I don't have any of that equipment to do that. So I'm trying it this way. There's more than one way to do almost everything, right? Some ways work better than others. And we'll see how this turns out. That might look all right. So what I'm going to try to do is get, uh, get blue at the bottom and red at the top and kind of get them almost blended in the middle, but separated. Um, I don't want purple in the middle, red and then blue, uh, but not a clear distinction between the two. So I'll take the blue. Uh, what I'm using is Speedball fabric dye. This is the stuff you use for screen printing, silk screening, and I'm going to try to use it for this application. And I'm just using a regular, regular paintbrush. This could be a, a terrible disaster. We'll see what happens. Just trying to work it into all the corners and gaps here. Okay, now I'm going to dry the ink with just a hair dryer for a minute and then I'm going to uh, cover it with some parchment paper and set it in with a hot iron. This shirt I'm going to do I'm going to try to use spray paint. So the first process is the same. I'm going to slip some cardboard in between the shirt so that the, none of the paint bleeds through to the back. this one to look a little bit different. I don't want it to look clean or manufactured. I'm just going to let it let it turn out however it turns out. One thing I don't really want is any overspray. So I'm just going to slip some newspaper underneath and cover the shirt. And if I get a little bit of overspray under the letters, under the stencil, I'm okay with that. I think that'll, that's kind of the look and feel that I'm going for with this. Okay. This is the same stencil I used on the, the other, the white shirt. And I just rinsed off the paint and I didn't add any more of the uh, spray tack adhesive to the back of this. Whatever's on there is on there. I'm just going to spray it and we'll see how it turns out.
So I'm going to use two colors, a light blue and black. I'm going to do light blue right across the center. And it doesn't look like you can even see that on the green. And I'm going to add some black all over. I think I'm just going to go with straight black. Let's see what we got. I like it. It has a little bit of overspray around the letters, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, it looks very graffiti-ish almost. Imperfect. I like the imperfections. I'm going to go with it. So what I'm going to do now... So now that that's pretty much dry... I'm going to set the ink into the fabric. I'm going to cover it with some parchment paper and run the iron in over it. There we go, that should pretty well set it in. I think I've heard you can also turn it inside out, put it in the dryer on high heat for a little while, and let it tumble for about 20 minutes to dry that way. And I also wanna to try to heat set the spray paint T-shirt. In the same style, same way. And here's the two shirts that I just made. I like the way they turned out. I think they're pretty rough looking. And it was a lot of fun to do. So maybe uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And maybe I'll do more of these videos coming up soon. All the projects I do because of ADD. All right. See you later.